paper indexing is controlled by the peg roller, which is driven by the peg roller drive motor. This indexing motor will turn one full revolution every third cycle of the stamp head. This translates to pulling the next two rows of stamps under the stamp head. The front to back position of the stamps is determined by a toggle on the motor shaft, sensed by a proximity sensor PX513. You can make minor adjustments of the paper position to eliminate stamp clipping. Loosen the bolt on the toggle, make your minor adjustment, and tighten the bolt to secure the toggle to the motor shaft. Note that this toggle will actuate the sensor two times per revolution, meaning two rows of stamps have indexed. Used stamp paper is rolled up on the take-up roll. This roll is driven by a black o-ring belt from the peg roller. Roll tension is adjusted by a clutch. If this clutch is too loose, the take-up roll will be puffy and large. Too tight and you may tear out the peg roller holes and cause stamps to be missed left on the paper. Before making any adjustments, ensure the drive belt is functioning freely and replace it if it's stretched or worn. Make your adjustments in very small increments. Just one or two clicks is sufficient. Before making further adjustments, observe performance over an entire roll or so. In order to have the stamps applied to the same position on each pack, the stamp head stays in one position and the paper roll indexes left and right to position the stamps under the iron. This shifting is made by two pneumatic cylinders that determine the three positions left, center, and right. Each cylinder is controlled in both directions by flow controls on the air fittings. Motion should be crisp and smooth, but not slamming. Each of the three positions are detected by a combination of two proximity sensors that detect studs on the shifting frame. The stamp iron heat is regulated electronically. The actual iron temperature is sensed by a thermocouple. If you are having problems with inconsistent iron temperature, it is likely due to bad thermocouple wiring. The usual suspect is in the area of the connector on the back of the head frame. Wires can come loose from the connector due to vibration, or they can break due to flexing over time. Careful examination of the wires in this area will usually reveal the problem.